Good morning. I'm Michael Green, the Counter Jockey. This is Morning Gaming, and we're going to get right into it. This is probably going to be a weirdly mix-and-matched episode, uh, at least in one part, because I uh, was looting the hallucinogen building, and Piper started a dialogue as soon as I left, and I was like, it's character building. I reloaded, recorded it. Uh, I'll put it in here. Always on good behavior, aren't you? I try to be? Seems like you're doing better than trying. I appreciate it. Too few folks can be bothered. Of course, in my experience, if you want to do real good, playing nice only gets you so far. I mean, look at Diamond City. A place I've been trying to warn of real danger. But every issue I publish, all I hear is, Oh, Piper, why don't you ever publish anything happy? Piper, why can't you write something nice for a change? It's enough to make me want to hang up my hat some days. Is Diamond City really in danger? It's not like there's raiders pounding on the gate. Are you kidding me? There is a very real chance the city leadership has been infiltrated by an institute synth. A synth under the control of an organization widely known to kidnap or murder anyone that stands up to them. I'd take raiders at the gate any day of the week over that. Of course, making sure folks are actually listening. <laughs> That's a battle in itself. Sounds like it must be exhausting. <laughs> no kidding. But people... They deserve to know the truth. Sure, it can be scary, knowing what's really out there. <laughs> a night doesn't go by, I'm not afraid some institute drone will decide today's the day to pay old Piper and family a visit. But it's worth it, because I know the truth. That's what protects us. Couldn't agree more. How can you protect you and yours if you don't know what you're facing? Exactly. Most folks, though, they'd prefer a comforting lie. Not me. I've seen firsthand what the truth can do. My sister and I, we grew up way out in the Commonwealth. Tiny little settlement. Our dad, he was part of the local militia. <laughs> Keeping the raiders off our backs and the Mirelurks out of our latrines, as he'd describe it. Well, uh, one day... Our dad turns up dead. His captain, asshole named Mayburn, claims raiders must have gotten him on watch. Well, I didn't buy it. I start making inquiries. Turns out, the captain, he'd sold out. Thought he wasn't getting paid enough to babysit the town. He was going to leave the gates open one night. Let a group of raiders sack the place and take a cut of the profits. My dad found out and was going to turn Mayburn in, but Mayburn got to him first. And I wasn't about to let that bastard get away with murder. I tried talking to the mayor, but he wouldn't listen. So, I papered the entire town in posters. Wanted for gross dereliction of duty, Captain Mayburn. The mayor sure wanted to talk after that. <laughs> the town threw Mayburn out on his ass and were dug in when a very surprised group of raiders finally showed. You saved those people. No. Those people saved themselves. Because they knew the truth. But hey, I, I'm sorry if I've been rambling. I just get fired up sometimes. It's just nice to talk to someone who, who actually seems to get it, you know? So, should we head out? Okay, so that was the dialogue with Pi Piper. I may have said Pepper earlier. Hope I didn't. Uh, I went through and I, 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 I was a little dirty. I downloaded a mod. I finally downloaded a mod that was a big enough change to the game that we are now in a no achievement save, which I already have all the base achievements, and I'll probably play this again down the line if I really care about the DLC achievements. Uh, what I got from that DLC is that little guy right there, which I, I, I'm pretty sure he's... Yeah, he's from the DLC. 
Oh, sorry, from the uh, the mod. That, if it has an item in its inventory that's in your one of your workshops that it's attached to, it will suck the item out of your base inventory and put it onto your conveyor belt. So I've put one of every, like, junk item that I had into that thing, which took a while. So what it'll do is just slowly pull stuff out of my inventory, run it into the first comparator, which checks for, like, the tools and pre-war money, because I want to put the pre-war money in my safe. <clears throat> Sorry. And then you've got this machine, which is new, a uh, recycler. What it does is anything that passes in, it breaks it down into its base components. So, like, that pool ball that just went in and that glass that just went in come out as, what is that, like, let's see, plastic, steel. Okay, let's follow something in. Uh, what do we got? Uh, Brahmin hide. Goes in. And out comes leather. Why am I doing that? It makes inventory management so much cleaner. And I'm just obsessive enough that that sounded beautiful to me. And then it does the same stuff where it sorts it out to my tools and money box, shotgun ammo being produced, and... But now, when you get down to this thing, it is just straight up the different types of crafty materials. And I can just come through every now and then, take this. Hell, I can even just run toward the other end and just go, boop, bloop. And, yeah. It's just an automated little thing. It went through a lot of design phases. You'll notice the hopper is gone. The hopper is the devil. Uh, let, suffice to say, metal buckets can eat all the dicks. But, where does that put us? Well, that puts us at, as soon as I add a display mount to put up my 44, we're gonna go out and be good guys. And do good guy things. Oh, there we go. I was like, wait, where am I? Oh. Are there two there? There are. I feel like I should eulogize my 44. Let's take the flip. Oh, you can't. Okay, I need that. I guess. The game's like, no, no, no. I'm gonna look out for you. I'm gonna stick the flare gun there. Oh, dude, it's a flare gun. How do you know? Well, listen. Woo! Woo! Oh, yeah, I guess it's a flare gun. Shitty jokes. Sh -sh 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 shitty jokes. I'm in kind of a good mood. I don't know. Uh, maybe just turning my brain off in, in that way that I needed to to make all this stuff work. Just, it's just nice. Okay, so... Unarmored, armored targets, long distance targets. We have a lot of shotgun ammo now, which is awesome. It means that I can use my uh, Miss You Twice gun and we'll be just peachy. So we could go work with Preston. There's this thing that popped up. Uh, I've actually got a bunch of the like radio signals that I haven't listened to that'll probably start quests. Oh, uh, we gotta figure out if we're, how much of this we're gonna do. Ugh. I may just not even go down that path. I think those are just some people I helped that one time. And I'm just not even going to deal with it. We're going to go... We're actually, I think we're going to go very vanilla with the the story. Well, you know what? We'll come back to him, actually. 
Let's go find out about that thing. All the side quests. That aren't main story stuff. And we are going to... Okay, so that one's... That's like the... I think it's a Far Harbor thing. I don't know. I haven't done that at all. Oh, he's there. He's not at his place. Oh, I bet this won't be freaky. She had to refill the water bottle before recording. Dumb. Hmm. Listen to the Nuka Cola family radio. Oh, I must have done something to activate the Nuka World DLC. Because, as I said when I started out Fallout 4, as somebody who has 100%ed the base game, and then... Parsons. My god. Yeah, it's kind of a messed up place. Then only done the... Uh, Automatron DLC story. Like, that's it. Like, I I loaded up the Automatron, did that DLC, because I think it was the first... It was the first story DLC, if I remember right. And then I just was like, I'll wait. I'll wait till it's all out, and then I'll give it a nice big playthrough. Which is what you're watching now. I'd probably have blown through everything by now, but recording means that I uh, have to sparse it out a bit. Hey, ah, you're back. wait. Good news. I figured out how to access the artifact's telekinesis effect. I've hooked it up to this old laser rifle. There's no way to control it without direct neural input. For better or worse, all of that was destroyed when my father died. But you still have a rather powerful directed force. Here, say what you think. <sighs> so it uses gamma rounds. Piper, where? What a, I don't care. I don't care. I hope it works. Well, I tested it in the lab, but there's nothing like some good field testing to really shake out the kinks. As for myself, I don't know. Maybe I'll finally travel to the southwest. My father was always convinced that there was another alien city buried somewhere in the Mojave Desert. Just when I thought this story had annoyed me. You put a cheeky reference to New Vegas? A game that you've basically stricken from canon as far as this game is concerned. The only thing it gets is a cheeky fucking reference. You know, 3 was a fun game, and I played it because I enjoyed Oblivion. But it was a buggy mess. It didn't really feel like it had a good cohesive overall design. Are you fucking kidding me? No, oh, are you fucking kidding me? Asshole. I can carry something if you need me to. As I was saying, three didn't really feel like an overall world. It felt like, okay, we made a bunch of areas and we stuck them together with just like generic wasteland in between. New Vegas felt like a living, breathing world where everything was tangentially connected. It felt real. And Obsidian should have been, like, lauded for that. They should have been praised for that, not ignored 100% in this game. You could have put Sunset Sarsaparilla in this game. You could... <laughs> Fuck everything to do with Jack Cabot. I want a mod that cuts that entire story out of this deal, out of this game. That's what I want. 
Kind of like the Parthenax fix, which yeah. fixed the fact that as the dragonborn in Skyrim, you should decide, you should be able to decide which dragons are actually dangerous and which ones are useful tools to your ends. Kind of like that. I want to remove this quest from the game. Actually, I want to remove it from canon, but there's no way to do that now. I was hallucinogen. Find me something good. Uh, yeah. I think I've found a drug that even you'd think twice about huffing. That's so. Far out. Can't wait to start breaking this down in the lab. Here's your payment. In full. As promised. Hey! Before you head out, you need to pick me up? Buff out? Mentats? I'll take a look. Sure. This is gonna be great. I don't actually want drugs. I'm just gonna buy... I'm just gonna sell them some shit. You know, this could secretly be one of the best weapons in the game. I'm so cheesed off right now, I don't want it. Do you carry, like... Okay, you carry, like, stim packs and stuff. I'm just gonna buy stim packs to get it to where I can sell this stuff to you. I don't care if it's efficient. Oh. Hmm. I don't know who the lead designer on this game was, but that would be the thing I would ask them about if I ever met them. It's like, hey, Mayor Hancock. Well, if it ain't Bobby's little pets here for protecting my stash, wise decision putting Bobby down like that. Bobby tricked me. She got what she deserved. Yeah, that's usually how the story goes around here. <sighs> Let me tell you, this classy little tri corner hat of mine is getting heavy. Am I turning into the man? Some kind of tyrant? I spend all my time putting down the people I would have been proud to scheme with just a few years ago. I need to take a walk again. Get a grip on what really matters. Living free. Can you just leave, good neighbor? Aren't you the mayor? Hey, the mayor's still the mayor, whether he's in residence or not. I've walked out of here plenty of times. Keeps me honest. Can't let power get to my head. That's not what being in charge of good neighbor is about. Uh, I'm gonna ask him to come with me, uh, and then we're gonna do a little sidekick shuffle. You're heading out? Why not come with me? Yeah, I like it. You might just be the right kind of trouble. Let me just have a little chat with my community first. Give them the news. After you, sir. Everybody, gather up. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. No rush. Everyone just take your time. <laughs> Look, everyone, I'm taking a walk. It's time for your fearless leader to get back out there. Mix it up in the dirt before I forget what that feels like. You can't leave, Hancock. We need you. Hey, I'm always going to be here in spirit, my man. Good neighbor and I, we got a connection. But like any hot and heavy relationship, sometimes you gotta spend time apart. Let things cool off. Remind yourself of who you are. So that's why I'm leaving. I'm still your mayor. I'm still gonna be here when you need me. But it's time for me to stop living so damn comfortable. 
Because we all know, no one in power deserves to be comfortable for long. Now, what's the best town in the Commonwealth? Where can someone live free with no judgment? Good neighbor! Good neighbor. Of the, the people! people. Oh, for the people. the people! And don't let no one forget it. Hey, Hancock. So, you ready to get this show on the road? Uh... Oh, you can actually say not now. Not right now. Suit yourself. So, you ready to get this show on the road? I'm gonna... Let's do it. Done. Oh, if it isn't this. my second least favorite mayor in the Commonwealth. <laughs> oh! Hmm. I, I I didn't realize you two had uh, history there. Well, let's just go ahead and make this a whole kerfuffle. Uh, remember what I said earlier before we got Piper about my favorite companion? We're gonna go get my favorite companion right now. Like, she's not gonna be our companion for this run. Because she does not fit Carter's personality, but she is my favorite companion. <laughs> Raiders always go hogging all the nice places for themselves. <laughs> Shoot somebody with a flare gun. Just roll up in a raider bar, just boop 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 boop. They're like, wait. Uh, well, I was going to shove all John Cena style, and then I had to hack my way in. Of course I did. And, nope. S on the end is the only thing that matches, but there's the E. Sweet. Guess they should have picked a better password. Tommy's rule number one, no fighting outside the cage. Tommy's rule number two, no caps, no entry. Tommy's rule number three, no begging, no loitering. Rule breakers. Buzz off. Guess I'll let anyone in here. Hey there. Ha! This ain't no place for you. Hi. How about you pester someone else? Well, Go I was in. gonna let you go. I'll take care of you. Fine. Fuck both of you. Got it. Why not? Okay. Get nice and comfy here. Hey everybody! Hey everybody! Hey everybody! Supposed to be in here? Rip her to shreds! Killed her! Fuck you, not an intruder! Let's get the hell out of here! Kill me! Always suspected they could be better that way. Why do they always gotta fight back? She's unstoppable! Ain't scared yet! You're a regular artist. Hate shooting a bartender. That one was ugly anyway. Hey, fuck this! I'm out! 
hear something. Wait, this is gotcha. This is fucking crazy. Get after that. You think they're done out there? We don't want any. Is it over? Well, that could have gone worse. <laughs> I don't know. Seemed quite the performance from where I was standing. Are you fucking high or something? <laughs> Why am I asking? Of course you are. Was still winning the fight, wasn't I? You're strung out and getting sloppy, is what you are. Of course, I suppose you ain't got to worry about that now. Seems this one just put us out of business. I'm not sure if I should kiss you or have my little bird here feed you your own entrails. I told you to quit calling me that. I saved your lives. You should be grateful. Grateful? For killing our meal ticket. Excuse me if I don't rush to embrace our savior. They weren't the friendliest bunch, but keeping those idiots entertained at least kept the lights on. To hell with them. More will come. Just need a quick breather and I'll be ready to go. A oh, breather? What? So you can slam more of that junk into your arm now? Now, you know what? I think this was a blessing in disguise. You caught the end of that bout. What'd you think of Kate's work? She's clearly talented. See? At least someone knows skill when they see it. It ain't your fighting skills I'm concerned with. So here's my predicament. I suddenly got no audience. No audience means I got no caps coming in. And if you ain't bringing in caps, little bird, you ain't an asset. You're a liability to me and to yourself. So here's what I'm thinking. What say I let you take over her contract? She goes with you, watches your back. Look, you'd be doing me a favor while I try to get the place back in order. What do you say? Me. And her. Why would you want her to go with me? Yeah, Tommy. Just why the hell are you trying to get rid of me? Look, truth is, all that junk, it's been making you careless. And I don't want to be the one doing color commentary when you finally hit the floor. All right? So just do me this favor. Both of you. Please. Sure. I could use someone watching my back. Good. It's settled then. And here, take this. It's the purse from the last fight. Exterminator's fee. Now just wait a second. What exactly are you gonna do without me here? You don't need to worry about me. I'll get this place set up right. Maybe find a less blood-soaked clientele. Then get the hell out of here. You ain't welcome anymore, little bird. You're a real son of a bitch. You know that, Tommy? You don't have to tell me. I guess you just come find me then when you want to head out. Kate. So, you're ready to head out? Ready. About time I got out of this place. Let's go. Seems I'm gonna be missing out on all the fun. You have no idea, Hancock. No idea. <laughs> oh. I, I, I like the I like the back and forth there. That was cute. Okay. So, I now have in tow my favorite companion, because I'll keep watch. she feels like somebody who definitely exists in the wastes. This is somebody who has, I mean, you know, she's lived a hard life, but it feels more realistic. Now, I, I will say, I have some... Like, her backstory has some squeaky bits, but I'm not here to judge them for how they tell that particular story, because I don't know the histories of any of the writers. I don't know, you know... I am just going to judge on the fact that, as a character, I find her super relatable.
But now, me and Kate going to knock some heads for a bit. Oh, I wonder if that looked as silly as it felt. Man, it's been several days. My arms still hurt from the gym. Like, I didn't rest long enough. Joints in my arms are going to be sore for even more days. Problem is, I'm just going to have to continue working out on top of them being sore. And I don't want to. Hey Schroeder, are you going to come up and get on stream? Or are you just going to stand next to my chair and gripe at me? What else do we got? Oh, investigate to make a plane. Fusion core that we saw found from the iBot. Got some stuff way the hell up there. It's a whole bunch of buildings that I've, like, bumped into, but didn't really go into too thoroughly. Places I could go back to. I don't want to fast travel to here, because it's going to be... I'll just be surrounded by super mutants. Yeah... Museum of Witchcraft. I don't remember... Go. I, I remember that I went there to do it. I think I did it so late at night that I don't remember the the place at all. Oh, I know where we're starting out. Okay. We might get attacked by super mutants when we fast travel here, but once we're done with them, there's a thing nearby I want to go through. Do this. What? Sure. Let's stand here in the open and wait to get shot. Somewhere. Who else? Anybody? Oh, I saw his arm. Oh, come on! Screw you, game. Well, did we go off the beaten trail? Supposed to fight when I can barely see me hands in front of me face. <laughs> this is gonna be a piece of cake. <laughs> Look, wiping the floor with you. Ooh, a baseball bat that ignores body that ignores armor.
What is the booby trap here? You step through... Is there an explosive around here somewhere? Or is this one that just makes, like, lights turn on? Because that freaking happens in here. Booby traps that all they do is, like, make lighting effects. Just a fuck with you. Let's not mess around. Oh, fuck. Here you going, Kate? Oh, I missed that one. For what? Ah, uh, yeah. That was good. That was well hidden. I missed that one completely. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love that they added that Christmas tree in one of the... the... deal. Nope. 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 Nope, 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 nope. Just nope. First time I did this, I was sneaking through with my light off. I came around the corner and all their lines, their eyes came on at once. And I was like, mm, fuck. Just started yelling, throwing grenades. I just realized something. I leveled up. <laughs> no longer trigger floor based traps. Thank you for all the grenades. Was that all of them? I think that was all of them. Okay, you can teleport. All those free experience points that they just left lying around. You're gonna drag that junk around. That made that car explode. Sneak, 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 sneak. Oh yeah, I, I, I should have taken that perk a long time ago. 
as much as I just stumble into every trap in front of me. Having my character be smart enough to avoid them is nice. Okay, so that goes that way. Let's go... That way just goes all the way to the end. And it loops around. Because realistically... So this is the ramp up, or so this is the ramp, oh yeah, oh there, duh. Let myself get confused by the, uh, the ramp placement. This seems to be the go no further, further point. Oh. a lamp all by itself. Okay, so this is where it came up. That's just a little alcove. Doesn't do anything. <laughs> Their heads been pulled. trick is to keep putting traps down to where the person gets to where they're just looking down the whole time and then you put something like above them Gotta be getting close to wherever this person stays because why bother? That's just garbage. I told oh, you if you want me to help with that lock, or any lock for that matter. Getting into places I'm not wanted is a talent I've acquired over the years. Uh 
Hey, where did you get those boots? Because, like, your outfit has, like, a I shopped for all of this at the same time look. I find that really impressive for somebody who lives in the waste. Asset. Ah. Hell yeah. Oh, that's right. This is how you get the uh, power armor colors. Specifically, MTA? this one's pink. Hasn't been very long. Let's take a look around while we have the chance. Well, here's a horrible choice to have to make. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, there's like a mini nuke and fusion cores, which means that... I'm going to... Press this button because you can't the thing is even though this is like within reach through the bars you can't add like affect it and you can't just it's annoying that's all i'm saying it's annoying That's the really awesome helmet, right? I mean, it, it, it looks silly as hell, but it seems effective. Hey, hey, come here. Yeah, sure. Be glad to take. I, I mean, hold some stuff for you. Here, take that. Give her the missile launcher. Let's give her anything that's not explosive. Interesting. And then that away is like super mutant stuff. Well, we made it through the parking garage of horrors. It's a weird little place. 
It's just like, it's, it's just all, uh, traps, just all traps. They're like, hey, we haven't done a lot of traps, let's do traps. Like, well, like, like just go through all of our buildings and add them? No, 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 we've already finalized all this. Just, just pick a whole bunch of places and just start putting traps. Okay. Okay, I can do that, yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna go visit the dang robot there. Oh wow, they're getting on. No, actually, let's let's go to the drive-in. Let's all go to the drive. -in. Let's all go to the drive-in. <sighs> this is a weird episode. Wow, that's an impressive visual. If you ain't been up to see Grey Garden, you should go. The whole place is run by robots. Oh, I know. I run the place. Oh, forget that. Sure. You have a snazzy hat. You get to be the merchant. Where's that dude I just clicked on? You should be salvaging things. Okay, you're making food, you're making food. Where is everybody else? Oh, I am in between the stairs. Maybe they're like, oh yeah, it's back here. Okay. Do I hear like a Oh, that was the ramen mooing. I am gonna move these. Oh, you can assign people to work the Brahmin specifically. I don't know that I ever messed with it enough to know that. could just build the, like, monitor my people computer, but I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Frickin' radiation storms, man. Could like, okay, so there's six people. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no, that's all of them. Okay, I was like, wait, no, get that buddy. Crops coming in pretty good. Hey there, you want to do some trading? I've got a well, few minutes. I set to up. The, Let me know what you'd like. I we'll set up a trading post here for a reason. Got for sale. It's like, what do you have? Actually, uh, junk, nor plastic. I'm sure. Now let's see what you got. Let's see what you have. Let me know what you'd like. Because lead and fertilizer are definitely the harder two items to get. So if I get a chance, I'm going to try and grab them from people. Remember, don't use this stuff, just sell it to passing merchants. Why bother? That's just garbage. I toss it. You're so negative. Well, for now you are. Oh, I forgot these things generate purified water. Uh... 
I don't know what to tell you, Brahmin. You're, you're stuck. Well. Came by, said hi, did some business. Let's dump some stuff at base. See how they're doing. Hmm. That's not a sound I wanted to hear coming into my base. Glad to see they actually used the siren. Though that does show me I I really should come through and add some Can I put these up out of here? I should add some walls in between these sections. But, it also shows me that my people are really good at mobilizing for defense, because they, they got them some super mutants. Like, I showed up and helped fight, but they had those first guys pinned down. Where's the one that I shot that was running at me? So yeah, I think some proper walls would be nice. But for now, I can rest assured knowing that my people are badasses. There's a piece of machinery I was debating putting up uh, that came with this mod. I'm going to look at it now. Oh, it's weird and creepy. Let's see what it does. So how does one process a super mutant corpse. This is how it works? No? I think I fundamentally misunderstood this device. But I'll figure it out before next time. <laughs> Uh, until then, I've been Michael Green, the Counter Jockey. This is Morning Gaming, and as we do every day, we've had a, we've had some fun. We've gotten the juices flowing. We now can be creative, productive, badass. See you next time.